Hello friends, how are you doing? Welcome to my C programming series. Today we will discuss about else if statement, also called as else if ladder. I hope you already know about if else statement. So if you don't know about if else statement, please watch the previous session about if else statements, then come to this else if statement. So this else if mechanism is same to that same to that of if else statement. So generally what we will do is that whenever the if condition is false immediately what will happen else will be executed but if i want some more conditions to be executed even if the if condition is false then we will use this else if ladder so how see if you understand the syntax if this condition is true then this will be executed so if this condition is false i don't want to execute else i need some more condition block of code and check some more conditions so i will use an else if so if this condition is true then execute this if it is false if it is false keep this and again check one more else if so if it is true execute this if it is not check one more else if so if it is true execute this so if all the if condition fails and all the else if condition also fail then at the end execute the else block so if you want multiple conditions to be checked then you will use else if ladder so you may say that we can why can't you use multiple if statements so why should you use this else if ladder see if you use multiple if statements so it more than one block may be executed so if in, in that if the condition is true more than one block may be executed but here within this chain so among if else if among if n number of else ifs and else only one will be executed either it should execute the if block and skip all else if and else or else it should execute one among the else if blocks or else it should execute else block and skip all if and else ifs so here it is considered uh, all the blocks are considered within a single chain all the conditions are maintained in the chain but if you separate if blocks they are having different execution flow so more than one block may be executed but here our intention is that only one should be executed okay and remember uh, definitely you should use an else statement at the end you can have any number of else if statements and you must have if one if statement you should follow the same sequence if followed by else if and else now let's say a simple example for this else if uh, we will write a program to test a given character is digit or uppercase letter or a lowercase letter or a special character so how we will do that so take a character so uh, read that character using scanf function now what we will do is that come if if that character is present between a to z then what we will do percentage c is lowercase character with ascii code percentage d okay so here what is happening is that ascii codes are compared we are using characters but internally ascii codes are compared so a is having ascii code 97 b is having ascii code 98 I mean, smaller case A, smaller case B, and line. So all the characters will have sequential ASCII codes. So those are compared. So if you are ha if the ASCII codes are in the range that you specify, then it is a lowercase letter. So if it is not a lowercase let lowercase letter, then directly you you don't want to print uh, any statement. Again, you need to check some more condition whether it is uppercase or not. Like in the same way, capital A is having ASCII code 65, uh, capital B 66. So all lowercase, uppercase letters sequentially ASCII codes are ordered. So if the ASCII codes are between in this range, capital A to capital J, that means 65 to next to 26. So then it is uppercase letter with ASCII code we are printing. So if you print percentile C, then ASCII code character will be written. If you print percentage D format, then that particular ASCII code uh, ASCII value is written. If it is not a lowercase, if it is not a uppercase, then what? Now we are checking whether it is a digit or not. So person numbers are having digits are having their ASCII codes between 48 to 57. So ASCII values are different and numbers are different. So let digit 0 is having ASCII code 48. Digit 1 is having ASCII code 49. Like that 0 to 9 numbers 0 digits 0 to 9 are having ASCII codes in the range between 48 to 57. So if it is having in this range then you are printing it is a digit so if it is not a lowercase if it is not a uppercase if it is not if it is not a digit then what it is definitely it is a special character first suppose you have entered as letter 
capital A. So what will happen? So capital A is compared with lower case A. That means 65 is compared with 97. Is 65 greater than 97? No, it is false. That's why this will not be executed. Again, this will be executed. So 65 greater than or equal to 65. Yes, it is correct. And 65 less than or equal to the ASCII code of Z. That means it is 121. Yes, it is correct. That's why this will be executed. Now what happens? Once it is executed, all the remaining blocks, the if block, the next else if block and the next else block will be skipped from execution. And no more conditions will be checked, no more else if blocks get executed. If one condition is matched and that block is executed. Okay, so that's why this is printed. But if you observe, if you use if statement, what will happen? Once this is checked, again condition, again next if block is next if block will be checked. That means the, the, it is considered as separate separate flow of executions. But here, all else ifs, if else are maintained in a single chain or a single chain. For suppose, assume you have replaced with if this is the same program with if. So what will happen? You have entered cap the same input as a 65 less than or equal to 97 it is false so this is not executed so 65 less than or equal to 65 and 65 less than or equal to the ASCII of z this is correct and this will be executed and then we should not print anything we should not print again there is no necessity to check whether it is a digit or a special character also because we already know that it is uppercase letter but what will happen if you use if block here 65 greater than or equal to 48 and 65 or equal to 57 this this condition is also checked that is not required Sometimes it may re result in wrong output also. So whenever you are using if if, uh, if statements, so multiple uh, they are considered as a separate block of execution. So even if one condition is satisfied, the next one will be executed. Next one will be checked, and if it is true, then it is executed. But our requirement is that you need to execute only one. Okay, that's why you are using this else if ladder. So let's try to compile this code. So I am entering capital A. So capital A is uppercase letter with ASCII value 65. Again we will compile and run. We will enter capital B. I think the ASCII value of cap small letter B is having 98. I will enter letter 7. It is a digit with ASCII value 55. So whenever you enter more than one digit, I mean if you enter 100 or not like 101 in that way then it will consider only the first character here in this as per this program if you are first if you are enter if you are entering more than one digit only first digit is considered whatever the input that you enter the first one is only considered why because we are reading only one character right next one uh, we will try to check I am entering hash at the rate I am entering this special character we have it so we can do the same program using some predefined function sometimes you might not know ASCII codes then what you should do you, you make use of the predefined functions so in a header file called ctype.h you are having all this function so uh, is lower is a function that will accept a character so if your character is in a lowercase letter it will return true so if of true if it if suppose if you pass lowercase of a so is lower of a if it is lowercase if of true so if it is if the if block is returning true then this will be executed in the same way is upper of ch in the same way is digit of ch in the same way uh, it supports one more function called is graph function what is this is graph function this is graph function will return whether the character that you have entered is a graphical character or not that means a printable character or not Graphical characters in the sense that they are printable. So special symbol, digits, all those are printable characters. So non-printable characters like tap, space, enter, new line, all these are non-printable characters. So I am checking that also whether you the character that you enter is a printable character or non-printable character or not. So is graph. If it is a graphical character, then it will return 1. If it is not a graphical character, then it will return false. So it is so our requirement is reverse here. So we need to check whether it is graphical, whether it is non-printable. Our requirement is that it, if it is non-printable, then we should execute this printf statement. 
suppose for example we have passed tab space so is graph of tab space it is a graphical character no it is not a graphical character that's why it will return false so we are inverting the result of this is graph function so not of false is true that's why this will be executed and this statement this statement is printed so print a percentile c is a non printable character it is not a graphical character okay the same output you will get for this program also under a character what i will enter 6 is a digit with ascii value 64 54 okay uh, now i am entering now i will enter a tab space okay is a non printable character with ascii 9 so can you display a tab space tab space is a virtual virtual representation okay that's why but still they are will have ascii codes okay that is having ascii code 9 so that is what you can do with this is graph function In the same way new line enter white space for all those things we will make use of this function hope you understand this program okay why you will use this else if ladder whenever if you are not satisfied with the if only one condition you need to check one more condition within the same chain then you will use this else if block so that you can have any number of conditions so if, if all those conditions fail then finally else will be executed remember among this if n else if and else only one will be executed and all the remaining are skipped from execution for suppose but if you use normal if even though one is satisfied the remaining if blocks also may execute and that statements may also get printed but here only one we should get the output with only one block should be executed within a chain okay that's why we are using this else if ladder hope you enjoyed the session if you have any doubts please do ask in the comment section and also please subscribe to our channel why because your support will make us think more innovative and give more innovative coding examples okay bye for now see you in the next session